everyone, Mr. Mo here. I wanted to take a minute to announce our mini challenges. Now, the mini challenges are exactly what they sound like, mini challenges, okay? Uh, these are opportunities for kids to exercise and practice problem-based learning. Now, the mini challenges are something we wanna make a part of everything that we do here at Club Oasis. So these will be constantly run uh, on some level uh, here at Club Oasis. And every time we launch a new mini challenge, we'll have a quick video which describes what the challenge is. And hopefully if you have any questions, you can leave them here below the video and we'll get those answered for you. So let's get into our first mini challenge called the Moonshot. So again, our first challenge is called the Moonshots Challenge. So what is that? So what are moonshots? Um, well, according to the Moonshot Factory, which is a Google company, they call it Google X now, uh, the moonshot, a moonshot is the building and launching of a technology that aims to improve the lives of millions, even billions of people, okay? Um, so if you look at our Venn diagram here, a moonshot um, really lies at the intersection of a huge problem, a radical solution, and a breakthrough technology. And our moonshot lives right here where all three of those things intersect. Okay, so what types of problems really uh, are categorized as moonshots? So if we think about these huge problems that affect society on a grand scale, we're talking about homelessness, uh, climate change, urban transportation, healthcare, and really anything on that scale is really considered a moonshot problem. Okay, so if we're talking about uh, what the challenge is or what a moonshot is, we really mean something on that scale. So some example moonshots, and these are some of these, most of these actually are from Google. So the, the self-driving car, right? So that's really a solution to, to urban transportation, uh, an attempt to also reduce congestion and uh, accidents, okay? And loss of life due to accidents. Um, over here we have Project Loon, and this is where you have balloon powered internet. So they, they actually launched these uh, balloons up into the stratosphere and they provide uh, broadband Wi-Fi for those in a certain area, okay? And so uh, the concept behind this is that you have these balloons spread out around the world and everybody gets free Wi-Fi, wi okay? Then we have Project Wing down here, and this is really what we call drone delivery, okay? So Project Wing is an actual, uh, what they call a VTOL, vert vertical takeoff and landing vehicle. You're able to deliver things either remotely or maybe even in some um, urban uh, environments, okay? so. So if you've ever heard of the idea of drone delivery, this is where Project Wing comes into play. And then finally, we have the Tesla Powerwall, and this is really our attempt to, to, to uh, use solar energy and to get and take homes off of the grid, if you will, the power grid. And so this here, you'll be able to produce your own electricity solar through solar means here. You see the solar panel up here on top of the roof. Um, but that energy, that, that the surplus energy is then stored in this big battery that sits either on the inside of your home, typically in the garage, or on the outside here as we see here. So this then al allows us to use uh, solar energy and, and not necessarily use the energy that's produced typically by, by the burning of fossil fuels. Okay, so these are some great examples of moonshots. So what is the moonshot challenge? Okay, so our challenge is threefold, right? To identify, design, and share a solution to a moonshot problem, okay? So your solution could be uh, for homelessness, climate change, urban transportation, healthcare, or some other huge societal problem, okay? And so you're to identify what problem you're going to go after, design a solution um, conceptually, uh, and even maybe if you want to come up uh, with a prototype, the better or more clearly defined your solution is, the better for you when it comes to judging. And then you want to share that solution here on Club Oasis with the rest of the community to be voted upon. And then uh, we'll also have a, a panel of judges to vote on those as well. So how do you go about uh, figuring out what your moonshot uh, technology will be? So we like to use what we call the Eureka Method. Eureka is an acronym for understand research, imagine, create, and then again, meaning that we go back through this cycle again uh, and try to improve on our previous solution. And so we call it the Eureka method, method because it's similar to Eureka, meaning like we've Eureka, we found a solution. Um, easy to understand, 
um, and then also really captures the whole really engineering design process in a way that is uh, very uh, very foundational and easy to understand, especially for young learners. Okay, so and I'll post these on the on the uh, link as well, so you can download these and view them at your leisure. Uh, but really understand understand is about identifying the problem. Research is exactly that, doing the research to understand a little bit more about what solutions already exist and potential solutions that you can provide and then imagine is where the brainstorming comes in and you start to think about, uh, you know, how can we solve this solution uh, with the technology um, that we have or something that we can build. And then create, and this is really in, in this case where you'll create your presentation and your video as well which you'll submit and we'll get to that here shortly and then again really going through that process again how can we refine our solution to make it better so what are the deliverables uh, let me go back what are the deliverables for this challenge so um, one it has to you have to deliver essentially a screencast video presentation similar to what I'm doing here I'm actually using the loom software to provide this um, so you can use that as well. It's free um, and it's easy to use and that's why I like it. Okay, so um, so you have to, to do that, you have to create at least five slides. Okay, now at a minimum you have to have these five slides. Okay, your moonshot problem, how it impacts the world. So if we're talking about homelessness, maybe throw in some numbers, uh, do some research. Um, throw in some numbers, how many people are impacted by this problem. Uh, then you need to have a solution slide. What is your solution? How does it work? Um, well, num uh, a number four slide is how does your your solution work? Okay, and then number five, I want you, if you're working in a team, I want you to put up uh, you know your team's information, your names, uh, how old you are, uh, and interesting information like that. Okay, and then you need to use Loom.com uh, to do a screencast similar to this or if you're creating, uh, you can also do a presentation where it's you in front of a camera and then your presentation behind you as you present your slides. So either way, okay, but long, as long as everything is visible and, and clear uh, for us to read on your slides, that's fine. As long as we can see them in, you, in, in that presentation, that's great, okay? And you'll submit that on uh, our website at Club Oasis. And that's it, okay? So this this is the, our first mini challenge, uh, the Moonshot Challenge, and hopefully we'll get a lot of participation, um, especially with what, what's going on uh, in the world today. Uh, I know a lot of kids are, are uh, at home uh, because of uh, the virus that's going around, and we want to really create an opportunity for you to be engaged um, and to be able to compete against others from around the world, okay? So um, if you have any questions about the Moonshot Challenge, Make sure you leave those questions below the video here. Uh, there's a section at the bottom after we uh, describe everything. There's also more information below this video on uh, what's required, the judging, and all those things. Okay, so um, again, uh, our first mini challenge. Hopefully, we get a lot of participation. Have any questions, leave them below, and uh, we'll get those answered for you. But uh, good luck, and uh, I know you're going to come up with some great ideas. So take care.